Hello, Anin. Oki Mak Kwebanas and Dishnikas, Minjikaning Donjba, Magazine Do Dem. My name is Chief Ladybird. I come from Rama First Nation and I sit in the Eagle Clan. Um, I'm a freelance artist, illustrator, muralist uh, based in Toronto. But as you can see, not in Toronto at the moment. <laughs> um, I came up to Rama to be with my family during the pandemic. Um, you know, there's like a lot of anxiety that a lot of us are having at the moment. And for me, um, being alone in my apartment slash studio where I normally work on my art uh, by myself, um, <laughs> it wasn't feeling good for my mental health. So coming home to uh, reconnect and ground myself and steady myself and prioritize my self-care um, has been really integral to my journey during this uh, strange, weird time, as I'm sure a lot of people are also sort of focusing more inward um, as we see the effects that uh, this is having on our capitalist lifestyles. Um, I, you know, I've, like I said, I've been prioritizing my self-care, my mental health. Um, so I haven't really been too focused on creating at the moment. I do have a few projects on the go that I'm slowly um, like getting into. Um, but I've been really pondering the last little while, like, how do we stay productive in a time like this? How do we um, continue to make work? Do we even need to focus on productivity? Um, and the conclusion I've come up with about that is that no, like our value isn't um, based in how productive we are, how much we make, how much we do. And I think that if we continue in the, the speed and the quantity of work that we were creating prior to this happening, um, we're going to burn out pretty quickly. So, you know, I think now is as good a time as ever to um, sort of take a step back and maybe reevaluate a little bit. Um, at least that's what I've been doing. And I think that's okay. Um, and, you know, I think for people who are still creating a lot and are finding solace and healing in that, that's amazing. <laughs> um, you know, I'm slowly starting to get back into creating some art and I've been thinking about what that means at a time like this. And, you know, as artists, we are able to create images that are empowering, um, that help others find their healing, that help others remember their value and their worth. Um, it, our artwork can bring a little glimmer of hope in these strange unsure times you know we're we're at a point where everything changes rapidly each day the immediate future is not promised and we don't really know what's going to happen um so to that effect i think that to everyone who is creating making music performing um even i saw one of my friends do a live stream of them playing yahtzee and i was like man that's pretty cool <laughs> like we're finding ways to still engage with each other even though we're socially distanced um i think it's really beautiful and for me um with the art that i'm going to be creating over the next little while i think it's going to be mostly focused on where i'm at what i need um in these moments which you know is peace <laughs> peace of mind and um, I've been going through a lot even prior to, to uh, COVID-19. Um, so it just kind of feels like everything is like compounding in a way. And I'm sure a lot of people feel that way as well. Um, but yeah, I just want to say chi miigwech to everyone who is still creating and to everyone who is taking a break and to everyone who is honoring themselves. You, you have to do what you have to do. You got to listen to your body, listen to your spirit. And... Um, We'll be okay. <laughs> okay. Bye, Mappy.